All right, I'm going to start out this one another way to uh, with another way to uh, view logistic growth. It, it has a different like form for the logistics growth di differential equation, um, and then it also has a different form for the solution. So I'm going to write that down, and then I'll solve another problem. Of course, it's still going to model a population that changes um, proportionally to the current population. It just might be a lot more simple. I mean, eventually we simplified it to get this anyway, like during our calculations on the last example. But uh, we can say, um, and we would have k being the same thing, the, the limiting uh, amount for the population, minus um, the, the current amount of the, of the population, so n. I think this is a little bit more simple, uh, first for the differential equation, but also for the solution. So this is still modeling logistic growth, and the solution, I think this is a lot easier to memorize. So the solution is uh, k divided by 1 plus c times e to the negative krt, where k and r are the same things as they were before, and c is some positive constant that will come out, hopefully, in the uh, the problem that you're working on. So let's just try an example maybe using this and you'll see which one you like better. Okay, suppose a virus is spreading through a population of 50,000 at a rate proportional to both the number of people already infected and the number still uninfected. I'm thinking of zombies. I, whatever. Um, if 100 people were infected yesterday, so that will be our n sub zero um, or the our initial population, if 100 people were infected yesterday and 130 are infected today, how many will be infected uh, a week from today? So this is talking about um, the, the rate at which uh, a virus spreads. So it's not modeling the population, it's modeling the virus. So the differential equation, dn uh, dt, that's the rate at which the the infection spreads. So that's going to be uh, r, right? Some rate at a rate proportional to the population of uh, infected people. N is the number of infected people. Remember the the rate. This is the rate of change of infected people. So n is the the number of infected people. And then the limiting factor. You can't infect more than fifty thousand people because that's the maximum number of people. So this would be, uh, according to this, 50,000 uh, minus n. So k is 50,000. 50,000 minus n. So that is our differential equation. And we're given, we're given some stuff. Well, with all of this, we can write out our solution using what we had before. We don't have to go through all the steps to solve it. Uh, We'll have n of t, which is the the number of infected people, um, and that's uh, k was 50,000, so 50,000 divided by 1 plus 1 plus c times, so some constant c times e to the negative 50,000 um, times r, some rate, we don't know that yet times t. So we'll leave it like that. Uh, but I also know that n sub 0, if 100 people were infected yesterday, we're considering yesterday to be n sub 0. So n of 0 is the same thing as 100, right? That's what it said. If 100 people were infected yesterday. So this is the same thing as 100. And that's when I plug in 0. So I get 50,000. This is how I can find my c value. Because if I plug in t being 0, then this is just 1 plus uh, c. And I can solve for c. So hopefully you can pause it and solve for c. I'm going to do that right now. So I just switch those two, and then c is 499. So now I have a closer, I, need, I still need r, but I have something where I can find r. Um, so yesterday was uh, n sub 0. Wait, if... 100 people were infected yesterday, and 130 people are infected today. So n sub 1, n sub 1 is uh, 130. So I'm going to use this. Let's get, make ourselves some room. n of t equals 50,000 divided by 
one plus four ninety nine e to the r t oh negative fifty thousand negative fifty thousand r t now I'm gonna plug in n of one which is one thirty and then I'll solve for uh, r and if I just plug in one it's just r times one so that's that's what we get and uh, yeah just switch those two things well sorry those two things and uh, I'll simplify and then subtract one from both sides I'm just gonna skip a lot of steps here so I'm gonna subtract one from both sides and then I'll divide both sides by 499 and then I'll take the log of both sides and so I uh, subtracted one that gave me um, this part and then I divided by 499, so it's like multiplying by 499 on the bottom. Take the natural log of both sides. And then I have all of this stuff. So then I will divide by negative 50,000. And uh, so that was, that's R. And now I finally, whew, I'm going to like probably skip a bunch of steps. But this, all of that junk is R, I mean this one's a little bit more complicated than before, but um, it says how many will be infected a week from today. So we just got to figure out what uh, T is. And in this case, T I think is going to be 7 because yesterday was 0, today is 1, and then a week, oh maybe T is 8. Yeah, so I'm going to skip a bunch of steps because this video is getting long and the other video was long, so I want to skip stuff. But at the very, very end, hopefully you can try and do this. Um, it's approximately 798 people. So sorry that it was kind of rushed at the end, but I need to do some stuff. So we're done.